Hello and welcome to a quick overview of what's coming in the new version 23.1. So what we can see is the new Power BI layout that we will include in all upcoming versions, which give the users amazing flexibility in regards to interacting on the different screens. So what we here see is a workflow environment where the user can immediately see where are we in regards to our planning or forecasting steps. I can see the overall progress and I can see the progress for specific areas. And then I can jump right into it, for example, go to the sales plan. And here we see now initially the analytics with the new functionality available in the Actarius variant. So here we can see KPI cards based on salesperson and product range. So if I go down here, immediately get an overview. Where are we in regards to our targets? Always with the uh, current result and the variance to the target broken down by the small multiples. And the cool thing here is I can switch this immediately. So if I want to see this now by sales territory, I can just switch here and get my results now by the region. Or so switch back to the sales manager and then have that back. Obviously all that with the Power BI functionality. So if I click on something, everything else will adapt here. I have the option to interact on the visuals. So for example, if I want to switch between the different views here and I have the option also to use the new projection functionality. So I can set cutoff points. So here we set it for July. So it will use the actuals until then. And then for the rest of the period, the comparison scenario. In my case, I've selected forecast, but obviously uh, I can select any scenario that you have set up in your terrorist environment or even create completely new ones. And here we have now the financial results perfectly laid out with the Actarius reporting visual with the option to uh, switch here between different views, uh, waterfall views, uh, absolute variance, and so on. But obviously the most important thing is the, the planning capability. So here I can now switch into edit mode and I see now the Actarius metrics visual with all the functionalities. And here I would like to show you some really cool new features. So here you obviously have all the editing functionalities that uh, Actarius provides. So I can click on a particular cell. I can use the right click to just choose special planning requirements. Like for example, I want to use existing allocations or I want to fill this until the end of the period, relative increases and so on. But what's new here now is the option to set a validation. So for example, in this case here, if I switch to the edit mode, so you can see what we have, what has been set up here on the visual, I have now two options, two new options in the visual. One is the editing lock and the other one is the validation. With the validation here, you have now the option to set validation rules and this is completely flexible and you can use from hundreds of operators and functions to set here validation rules as you need them. So in this case, it's a simple one where I've said the value, which is the variable for the respective cell, needs to be an integer. So if I try to enter here now a value, that's an integer, it now tells me this doesn't, this is not okay because we have set up a rule for this uh, cell that any new entry needs to be an integer. So if I enter now 10,000 here, value here, with the option also to undo this, so we have this new undo feature as well that, you know, if I'm if I made a mistake, I can immediately undo it to the previous value. The other one that we have here now you can see is an editing lock, which is a pretty cool functionality as well. So here the users can set um, dynamic rules if the user is allowed to edit a value or not. For example, a typical case here is that, you know, I'm a product manager, I'm working on a particular product and I don't want anyone else to change something, but this shouldn't be with user rights. So, it's, you know, for example, at other times they should be able to change it. So I just quickly want to set this dynamically. And this is now what's immediately possible here. So I can now just go to the, to modify and add, which gives me the option to edit and update my master tables. This is of course another Actaris uh, visual. This is now the Actaris table edit with all the great uh, table edit features, you know, it's displaying um, pictures and you know having the icons and having the option to have a full editor coming up for more complex text 
And then here we also have an option for lock. So we see here cup shaped race 177. That is at the moment to uh, lock status. If I want to, for example, now take the next one, reflect the line 192, I can just set this here to, um, to 1. And now I have a look. So here's our refl reflector 192. And if I move the mouse pointer here, I can see now this is locked. So no one can edit this anymore until this lock is removed. And the way this works is when we look at the visual is that we actually have a hidden column here, which is the lock column. And this was the reference that we were using before. So we're saying value two, which is the second column, which is hidden at the moment. And that's just a DAX calculation that returns the lock attribute of that product. And that is used uh, in our definition. So we're saying if the second column is one, then it should be locked. So it's a very easy way to define it and completely flexible. So you can really realize nearly any dynamic editing requirement. So this was just a quick tease of what's coming in version 23.1. Follow us and uh, we'll be sharing some fantastic new improvements that are coming in the coming weeks.